In architecture, the notion of context is very important. As Rafael Moneo said, it's simply to declare that architecture belongs to the context. Understand its attributes and understand the way they express is the first step the architect follows when starting to design a building. In this video, we are going to talk about the context where the project will be, but before we want to talk briefly about the slang in Venezuela. As we say in our application video for Solvi, currently half of the population in Caracas live in a slum. Through 1966 and 2014, the urbanization process in slums has been twice as big as the planned areas of the city. In housing, the density is three and four times bigger in a slum than the density in planning areas, and also bigger to the recommend by UN Habitat for compact cities. In planted areas, the requirement for public space, street and green areas implies that the available space for housing is at max 17%, but in a slum, the house is made to reach 60%. This is one of the reasons why we focus on the public space in our project. We found all of this information in an investigation work called Cartografía de los Barrios de Caracas, made possible by Enlace Arquitectura. So we're going to leave a link in the description down below with an article talking more about this investigation. So right now is the moment to talk about the specific context of our project. It will be in Caracas, specifically in La Vega, inside the slum La Ladera. Before we start analyzing this place, we need to understand the slum. For us, the slum can be divided into two categories, houses, and interstitial spaces where the public space is. These last ones can be divided also into other two categories, paths and their intersections called nodes. These spaces are very important because they allow us to connect different parts of the slum. Now we are ready to identify the variables of the site. To start, we need to analyze more context than the specific flakes of the project. To do this, we need to define a big polygon of work. Inside, we're going to identify the use of the spaces like houses, public space, business, the height of the buildings, and finally, circulation. Now, this right here is where our project will be. This is a space that already has a tiny basketball court as you can see. The community asked us to make a roof for that space, but we can make simple that because of how the surroundings are deteriorated and abandoned. We have to propose a solution to all this. You will have to wait to the next video to see how we pretend to accomplish that. As you can see, this site is in the periphery with view of the city and is connected to the internal paths of the slum. With all of this information, now we can identify the problems and the potentials of the place. The most remarkable problems are the bad state of the surrounding space. The topography doesn't allow the people to use this space. Lack of defined limits and lack of the cultural activities. In the other hand, there are potentials such as the connection with existing stairs, views of the city, sporting activities, and also the existing of a community house project at the street level that we're integrating to our own project. Now that we've finished understanding the slum, it's time for us to show you all the strategies we made to respond to all of these variables. But you will have to wait to our next video to watch that. So make sure you don't miss it. For now, leave a comment down below and let us know what you think about all the things we talked in this video. Give us a like and don't forget to subscribe. When we found out we won the solver project, we just freak out. So this is our story.